Hello, this is module 14 on domain and range of inverse functions. Please make sure to review pages 3 to 4 um, that is on how to find the inverse of a function and on how to verify whether two functions are inverses. I'll be particularly discussing more about um, the illustrative examples found on pages 9 to 11. And for the competency of this lesson, this is on how to determine the domain and range of A functions. For the properties of inverse function, if the inverse function exists, then first, the inverse function and the original function must be a one-to-one -one functions. Number two, the domain of the inverse function is the range of the original function and then um, the range of the inverse is the domain of the original functions so kung baga nag interchange lamang ang kanilang mga domain and range okay example here um, the original um, function f of x has domain and range of a and b when it comes to its inverse the domain of the inverse has an equivalent of b, which happens to be the value of the range for the original function. And then for the range, that is why we have um, a value of a, which happens to be the domain of the original function. So, so nakikita nyo na nag-interchange lamang yung kanilang mga domain and range. For another example, here it has been illustrated um, a set of table of values. So, an original function and its inverse relation. So, to find the domain, I mean the domain and the range of the original and the inverse relation has the following. So, for the domain of the original function, it has um, 2, 3, 5, and 10. The domain of the inverse has 6, 8, 12, and 21. The range of the original has 6, 8, 12, 21. The range of the inverse has 2, 3, 5, and 10. So see, um, this two has just interchange. Alright, now we move to the illustrative examples found on pages 9 to 11. So, there are four examples. One by one, we will discuss them. So, for example, number one, find the domain and range of the inverse function f of x. Okay, so, for number one, as you can see, the given function is in its inverse function. So, we need to... Um, change it into its original function so that we can easily determine the domain and range. Alright, so I have here um, the original, I mean the inverse function. So, we'll change it to its original function. So, this one becomes y, x plus 2 over 3. Alright, now we interchange x and y. That will be x equals y plus 2 over 3. Now, we multiply 3 by x. We get 3x equal to y plus 2. And then, um, we're going to evaluate or equate the equation by y. So, we have y equals 3x minus 2. So, this one is the original function f of x equals 3x minus 2. Now, the domain of the original function is the set of real numbers. And the range is also the set of real, sorry, it's not y, I, it's not x, but it is y. So, make sure x and y, okay, all sets of real numbers. This happens when um, the function is a linear function. So, linear function po yung kanyang <coughs> uh, original function. For the um, inverse function, it has also um, 
a value for under domain, a set of real numbers din. So, pareho lang sila. Ito naman, y, elements of real numbers. Okay? Example number 2, find the domain and range of f of x equals 3x plus 12 and, inver and its inverse. Uh, mas madaling hanapin ang domain and range kapag ka nasa original function siya. Okay, so since the given function f of x is a linear function, then the domain and range are both the sets of uh, real numbers. So for the original function, this, the domain is the set of all real numbers. Same with the range. Alright? So, for the inverse of this one, they're also the set of all real numbers. So, the inverse of f of x has a domain of real numbers, sets of real numbers. Same with the range. Okay, so yun na yung domain and range ng... Uh, original function, saka ng inverse function. And meron pa siyang isang task. Uh, we need to find the inverse of the original function f of x. Okay, to find the inverse, the original function is f of x equals um, 3x plus 12. So, this becomes y. 3x plus 12 interchange x and y. We get x equal to 3y plus 12. Now, we find the value of y here. So, let's interchange um, uh, x and 3y. So, this becomes 3y, which is equal to x, minus 12. Divide both sides by 3. We get a value of y, which is equal to x minus 12 over 3. So, the inverse function of f of x is equal to x minus 12 over 3.